talk about a couple of the other bird projects that you've done and then let's move on to questions. Okay. Um, I also went into pigeons and I did some a little science project with genetics. Pigeons are fast breeding birds so it's easy to get quick results from a project like that. Um, like breeding one color to one color and one trait to another trait like different head shapes, um, different length of toes, colors, wingspan, such. And I actually bred two black and white birds down to a pure white bird through wow. selective breeding which really taught me about how the poultry and bird people do it is to create breeds like this is a hundred years or so of selective breeding. Mm -hmm. And another one was, my recent one is ducks. Last year my mom asked me, what do you want to do different for fair this year? And I said ducks, and she asked what kind of ducks, and I said silver apple yards. She asked where I thought it, and I said from the Poultry Press magazine, <laughs> which is actually a poultry magazine focused on birds and, and small far farms, and they had an article about the Silver Apple Yards in the same magazine was also Phoenix Chickens and Saramas. And um, it was a fun, fun project. Um, uh, my mom helped me or got me or some orders from Ohio, which was really nice. And um, when I got them at a show, there were these little, well, not little, these fuzzy ducklings that were stood about this tall and they were about this big around, these big ducklings, because silver apple yards are huge ducks. Um, a full grown one would be about, the body would be about this big, and they'd stand about this tall. They're really big. <laughs> you can mistake them for geese. <laughs> And um, be, being a, a more advanced um, um, a poultry breeder by now, but it was challenging because ducks I didn't know as well, but I knew that they had um, a motivation, food. My mom found out how to motivate me was being outdoors and the chickens and a lot of things I was interested in. Well, I picked up on that and what she did for me and did that for the ducks, found something they were motivated in, and then I got them trained to those motivations, like going to the pond, feed and such, and getting them off the pond, which I, um, <laughs> at the end, failed at. <laughs> they, they decided they wanted to stay out, and I had to chase them off the pond with my kayak. <laughs> <laughs> and then at another show, I purchased two more of these. Which show? Um, nationals. National, the National Poultry Show. Okay, and this picture that she's holding, um, so they came in as ducklings by fair. They were big enough to start showing. In the fall, we go to the American Poultry Association Fowl Fest up in Birch Run. It used to be Grandpa Tiny's Fowl Fest up in Frankenmuth. And she won Best Young Heavy Duck. First year young duck. <laughs> this is Ellie. She is in our barnyard at home. But they really specialize in photographing the and, champions. And one of the breeders that came across one of the show pens with her noted that she looks like a perfect duck, like she would belong in the standard book. Hmm. Hmm. Amazing. Wow. So, the Silvo Appy Yards were brought in England by Reginald Appleyard, and he went out to design the perfect duck 
for meat, eggs, and show. And I agree with him. Yeah. So the breast <laughs> has Except. white feathers, so it's still a good white meat. And what about your eggs that eggs. you collect? Um, your, the regular white grocery store egg, a duck egg is um, one and a half the size of that. So basically a duck egg equals one and a half chicken eggs. So they're about this big and they're really tasty. I had six for lunch yesterday. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> they are, they look like um, as if a white egg were dipped in coffee for a few minutes. Kind of like a creamy color. So with Easter coming up, we'll talk a little bit about egg color and then we'll do some questions. But um, eggs can come in a variety of colors with chickens and the different breed will determine the color of the shell. So the Americana has blue yep. and the Morans have chocolate brown. Chocolate brown, there's Blue, green, pink, um, brown, chocolate brown, and white. And cream. And cream. Um, then the inside of the egg, the grocery store eggs are going to be a bright yellow yolk because most of those um, birds are fed a lot of soy and a lot of corn. But if um, they are fed a lot of greens like dandelion leaves, grass, natural wheat, other other vegetation and plants, um, they'll come out a dark orange. So when we start, so if you ever get your free range eggs, the yolk is often darker. That means that they've been getting a good healthy diet of greens. Um, so, the, and <coughs> so we know that we get better nutrition in the eggs when we give better nutrition to the chicken. Why don't you uh, tell what your current status is in uh, exhibiting? Exhibiting? Yeah, you, you have a, you have... You got a trophy on the table now. Yeah. Um, I am Oakland County Poultry Queen, but that is a leadership award and has nothing to do really with showing chickens. <laughs> it's more of a leadership thing and teaching the next generation of kids about chickens. Um, I helped a whole bunch of first years out and given them knowledge that I didn't have on my first year. Um, but as, um, I am a breeder and um, I have won at county, state, and national shows. And I I'm one of the <coughs> older youth poultry exhibitors. And if I wanted wanted to, um, next year I would be one of the younger adult exhibitors. So Oakland County Fair is open to all children ages 9 through 19. And it um, so that's one event that she showed and she also shows in American Poultry Association fairs locally and nationally. And my reputation at the county fair is one of the best chi chicken raisers there is. Or why don't you uh, tell what your current status is in uh, exhibiting? Exhibiting? Yeah, you you have a you have you got a trophy on the table. Yeah. Um, I am Oakland County Poultry Queen, but that is a leadership award and has nothing to do really with showing chickens. <laughs> it's more of a leadership thing and teaching the next generation of kids about chickens. Um, I helped a whole bunch of first years out and given them knowledge that I didn't have on my first year. Um, but as, um, I am a breeder and um, I have won at county, state, and national shows. And I am one of the <coughs> older youth poultry exhibitors. And if I wanted, wanted to, um, next year, 
I would be one of the younger adult exhibitors. So Oakland County Fair is open to all children ages 9 through 19 and it um, so that's one event that she showed and she also shows in American Poultry Association fairs locally and nationally. And my reputation at the county fair is one of the best chi chicken raisers there is. Or, yes? Do you think someday you'll become a judge? I'm not sure. Fair? It's just really hard to decide and judge people. I might judge birds, maybe, if I really, really study the standard again. Um, but judging showmanship, maybe, I don't know. I think her interest is more in breeding okay. and just being part of the and poultry hobby. And farming and um, socializing with birds. Well, first of all, I think you're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I think you're a wonderful girl. Mm -hmm. So when I listen, uh, Alara, and things that you said you had learned to calm down, you learned to tolerate the all oh, that yes. noise. All the things, you, all those things you learned. Actually, Nancy and Goldie and the chicken was your motivation, or otherwise you might not have learned that. Is that yeah? Without chickens, I might still have a lot of the. Issues. Young child autistic traits. Okay. Hmm. I think to answer that too, as she worked with the chickens, the chickens did a lot for her, and then she would go to shows and she was able to be successful at something that also was huge for her. So it wasn't just the motivation, it was actually the relationship she had with the birds and people noticed her talent. They called her a chicken whisperer. <laughs> At State Fair one year, um, they had pens of big geese, and Alaire was this big back then. <clears throat> and she had no fear of any bird. She could calm any bird. We, we got farm chickens that were like wild. She'd have them lining up in a row with a clap of a hand within a couple of weeks. So she really has a talent with them. He paid her 25 cents a bird to get those big old geese out of the pens because no one wanted to go in there after these <laughs> birds. And she's just, okay. She goes in, here's one, here's two. You know, yeah, a lot um, of people, um, geese actually have a serrated part, the top part of their beak that are kind of like teeth. Um, so their be beak edge is serrated. So basically, if they bite hard, that um, you will get hurt. But if you show confidence, they will back off. If you <coughs> show fear, they see weakness, and they will know that you they they can overpower you. So that little young child bravery and confidence is one reason that I was able to deal with these geese that were almost my size. But if you showed anger, what would they do? Um, they might attack violently. Because <laughs> they feel threatened, mm -hmm. right? So they're protectors. So um, the other thing is we talk about beyond the barn, that then she had something that she could relate to other people with. She went to shows where other people were interested in chickens, and they could talk chickens together. And so she could then start connecting with people and I know that we had started a riding when there was another girl from another county. I was looking for Alara again. It's pack up time and we've been cleaning the barn. Where is Alara? There she is on, the, on a big tractor wheel sitting there with a friend. She'd taken the back end of a comb and some other utensil. She's teaching her friend how to knit. Mm -hmm. And they were sitting there on a big old tractor wheel learning how to knit. And they do a lot of projects for 4-H. So then they start sharing, oh, I'm also doing this and I also do that. Um, knitting and crocheting um, helped Alaire sit and listen because she can't take a chicken everywhere. Yeah, give me something to fidget with with my hands. Yeah.